All right, feels like fucking years, but it is finally time to clear out the home of the Bogarts. And poor fucking Cedric, man. He has been in there for so long. How long ago did he get so, so very thoroughly bonked? Because there is no way that I already picked that up. There is no way he's still alive now. It feels like quite the fucking step down from saving the entire race of fairy tale people, or at least a big fucking chunk of the race of fairy tale people, but he's doing just fine. I knew that mustache would keep you all nice and warm and ward Wait, off all those asshole meatballs. A crudduck has made its lair at the bottom of this hollow. We will need to find it and kill it. What the hell is that? You told me this was all about fucking bog hearts. I thought this was going to be fine. Rundermere. Is that where we are? I think that's where we are. It is a fey hollow on the southern edge of the Shi. The is it really? Is We're inside of it right now, you idiot. I know where it is. Ah, uh, what the hell is a crudok? Crudok of vile beasts, which feast on the flesh of the dead. For some reason, brownies flock to them, eager to act as soldiers, often bringing back kills so the crudok can feast. Oh, it's a brownie den, not bogart. Okay. This is deadly. I'm not a very clever boy. Uh, apparently we need to ask it again, even though I literally just did. Are you gonna say the same the shit? The is sending the brownies of Rundamir out to collect corpses for it to feed on. But they're that so the cute! They've been ambushing wayfarers in the Shi. We must find it and destroy it. Those adorable little squeaky goblins are grave robbing? They're, they're like the equivalent of little round children. Like they, <laughs> this can't be, be happening. I don't want to kill all these guys. Are. Ugh, the game is chugging like hell. It's been performing just fine, like, this entire time. By the way, for those of you who don't know, my PC would definitely not chug on a game from 2012. I'm running, like, an RTX 2080 and shit like that and an i9. Why does this happen on Kingdoms of Amala? How is- th I imagine the port runs so much worse than the original game, and it's like, how can that shit happen, man? This gonna be the easiest part of development for a game this old, anyway. Alright, here we go. Oh, I hate you so much. Why are you making me do this again? And that was the easiest hard one I think we've ever had. Which makes absolutely no sense, but still. What do we got here? Is it finally better than Malachim? Because we've had Malachim for a very long time. It actually adds one to my might. I don't have any might. Because I'm a little squishy, spindly boy. But... Uh, I think we'll stick to what we got. I didn't realize that this is what buffs my sorcery abilities so much, so... I'm never, ever, ever allowed to change this. What I leave behind, though? A shitty hat. The hat can remain gone. What do we got around here? Also, I'm pretty sure... Yeah, it, this was not the chest. I nearly left this entire stack of rocks behind. How dare I? Huh. I was like, those things never really annoy me by leaving shit inside of them, because I noticed it was on my map, and I was correct. What do we got down here? This place is really, really beautiful, by the way. Considering it's just the inside of the fucking tree where a load of corpses are being dragged around, you'd think it'd be just a little bit gross. But no, but no, it's fucking gorgeous. And it looks like, well, I know it was like a fey hideout or something forever ago, but it looks like more than that. It looks like where they used to worship their gods or whatever the hell, whoever their gods actually are. I know very little about the fey gods. Maybe they don't have any? I, I don't think I've ever, 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 ever in, a, in like any fantasy setting ever seen a race that is just totally secular, but this could be a first. And I know they basically worship their sort of like older selves, like the heroes of yore or whatever the fuck. Like they have legends, but they've literally never mentioned their gods and they sort of laugh at the notion of ours, even though ours are literally existent, but they're also probably just ancient mages, I don't know. Can I stop cooking now, please? I I'm very much done cooking. It's not nice. I want my flesh back. My flesh will never return. Okay, there we go. As soon as I say that, of course. As soon as I get all sad, the game feels bad for me. Damn it. No. No, no, no. I did really stupid there, but it's fine. It worked. Oh, thank fuck I hit an easy one. Fade Blades of Morning. Was that morning or morning? Like, daytime, a big happy sun period? Or, like, morning, as in everyone is sad, please fucking help us. Because those are two very, very, very different- I'm not talking to you, you can help by fucking off, thank you. <laughs> really? Is that so? Is it just because one was latched onto your brother's anus? I mean, apparently you think that's fine, but if it scars me, I think- I think I'm being groomed. 
I don't like that I've been- this is sort of like the fantasy equivalent of being led into a dark alley. Except it's deep within a magical tree, but you know. Oh god, okay. One, two, three, four, five! Maybe if I start counting in some weird-ass melodic way that I didn't even mean to happen, maybe that's gonna get a hell of a lot easier. I fucking hope so, because I still desperately suck at it. Are you- are you coming? He's stuck. He really liked that view. Just watching the brownies from afar, that's a bit terrifying, sir, in case you hadn't fucking realized. Hey, how you doing? I don't like that you can be pestilent, man. These things- okay, they sort of look like disease personified. You know those, like, awful fucking adverts from the mid-2000s for, like, bleach? And it was sort of like cartoonized versions of the disgusting, like, germs you'd find in your toilet bowl? That's what they look like. In fact, I'm 90% sure that is literally just where the model comes from. They were, they just, they were just working with a fucking bleach company when they made this goddamn game. Because that is exactly what it looks like, and now I feel like a genius. I've stumbled upon one, uh, I've stumbled upon one hell of a revelation. But yeah, they're absolutely disturbing, but I don't, I don't see them as diseased. But then again, I don't really see Bogarts as diseased either. That everything adorable in this game is the worst. That's all gonna give you syphilis. Or maybe even this time we're gonna graduate to gonorrhea. It's gonna get worse and worse and worse as we go. I straight up just bypassed chlamydia. And that's like the, the adorable, the most adorable of all STDs. Mostly symptomless, right? Makes you leak and impotent, but other than that, you're all good. I don't know why this is a viable topic for what I'm talking about in this video, but I'm sick, okay? Not like in the head, although I definitely am. I've got the flu still, kinda, which is weird because my, my, my voice has sort of been left intact for the most part. Like, I'm coughing quite a bit, but I can speak. But like, in my head, it's all fucking gooey, not gooey, that sounds like I'm full of awful, awful fluids. I mean like hazy and shit. And I can definitely feel the cold. But other than that, I mean, I can speak, and that's all I need for my job. So, we're all good. Did I just call this my job? It is not my job. <laughs> what have we got over here? Amorize and another Healy. I've been using a lot of potions lately, and it seems like the game is 100% punishing me for that. And you know what? I don't blame you. I've been an absolute pussy. I was, been, I was using him against very, very weak enemies, just because I, I kept forgetting to heal. We're fine now, because I'm wearing half-decent armor again, but when we were in the ballads gear, um, and I didn't have any passive regen, I was constantly using a shitload of potions and I feel really bad about it. The potions deserve better. I deserve better. You deserve better, Citric. What is that? And why is it oh so very fucking slow? Could you get less intimidated? Uh, I, like literally nothing could make you seem more pathetic, sir. I can run right around that. That's n okay. I lied. 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 I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Can you give me another chance, please? Oh, you're one of those things with the horrible, like fucked up, scrotal skin, theater masks as a face. Yeah, I don't like you. You're horrible. Let's try that again. What's all that green shit floating around? Oh, is that just what brownies look like in the distance? I like the way that they sort of like materialize as opposed to just pop in. Like, that's really, really cool. In fact, like, when when you, um, magically discover a thing, it just sort of pops in. But when the game is doing things that in most games would cause pop-in, it materializes. That seems a little backwards to me. Why doesn't the magical things materialize and the brownies just sort of appear? I'm glad the brownies don't just appear, but still, it seems very weird. If they had that incredible technology, You'd think they'd use it a lot more often. Ugh! As the bra when the brownie was in a, like, that kind of position, it looked like its face, or the brownie itself, was the Murdoch, or the Kurdoch, I forget its fucking name already. It looked like it was its face. And that was the worst thing I think I've ever seen in my life. Please go away forever. I need to save all of that electricity for this guy, though. Or let this boy do all the damage? That'd be nice too, I guess. If I'm able to dodge this, everything will be fine. Because I can probably bring it. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. No, no, no. No, I've forgotten how to use a fucking Healy. Do I want to use a Healy or should I heal myself? I don't know how to dodge these now. I didn't realize, sort of like, the heat seeking worked as good as it. <laughs> you really went for him. Am I really that, like, unintimidating to you? That you think the NPC that does about three damage per shot, you think you think he's scarier. Thanks, game. That makes me feel great. Ambushes and the trail to Detir will be safe again. Fuck yeah, we're going to a desert. I would not have been able to defeat the monster on my own. 
but not before we go to the face city which i just remembered is one of my objectives oh Goodbye. my god next session will be amazing wait you're abandoning me dude there's so many more brownies to murder this this is not a brownie den completely cleared out you saw how many were on the other side they're just gonna repopulate and now i'm thinking about brownie sex and that's that's not a nice image i'm going to vomit does he, like, cause problems as he goes? Are they all gonna chase him so I can just loot freely? He is actually fighting. That's kind of really cool. I mean, it really doesn't matter because I can knock him out in one hit anyway. I don't know why I'm scared, but still. And they are respawning already. These guys work fast. The endless fuckathon has already begun. And I, I don't want any part of that. I'm gonna look at those, that, 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 that. Shoes of the Gale. It's literally just lightning damage, which is really good for me, considering lightning is by far my most powerful magic source right now, or my most powerful element. But at the same time, eh, eh, I like my shoes. My shoes are cool. Uh, persuasion is back to maximum, so we don't need to worry about that. I might put more into stealth again, purely because we're now in the Steely Guild, and I kind of want to work on that shit quite a lot. Plus, if I ever do end up branching out into finesse, I am going to be amazing. So, what's next? Elemental Rage can be maximized even though I think it's a bit shit. Um, at least it gets extra points so we can finally make our way up to Sphere of Retribution and shit like that. I don't have much to buff. I can buff my summon. I can buff my shield. But there's not a whole lot of reason to. That's only another 1% damage. Which if I'm hit with like a, you know, a 200... No, that would only block like, what, 14 damage out of 200? That It's not worth it. I don't even... The only reason I keep it up really is the spheres. I think they're way better than the actual shield. Speaking of which... I mean, I guess I could... Or I could make an actually decent construction. put one point into it and no you know what since we've only got one right now i'm putting it into the spheres i want to see if we now have even more can i get myself no i'm not nearly cool enough come on let me be a sorcerer although arguably sage sounds cooler than sorcerer and uh, arguably sage looks cooler than sorcerer what the fuck is that why am i what, what is this supposed to be I, I hate everything about that image and I'm not going to comment on what I saw before I realized what it actually is. So, uh, we're going to ignore that, uh, very, very questionable image and see what the fuck we've got going on over here. Guess what? It's more brownies. Are you surprised? I'm surprised. Man, that, that's so unique. How many do I have? Do I have five fucking balls of doom going around me? That's still just the four, but I imagine they do extra damage or something. Because, I mean, I only had one point into it. We have two things that buff sorcery abilities. So what does that mean? That, that means it's now level 4? I don't know what level 5 could do, and unfortunately you can't see levels that are like really far off in the distance, which they kind of really made a big misstep with, because obviously if you can add to the level artificially without putting your points into it or whatever the fuck, then surely you should be able to see what all the levels do. So you can see if you want to invest in another point, or if you're happy where you are. Because right now it just acts as if I'm at level 2 even though you know, I, I'm technically at level 4. It's, it's, it's big silly. It's very annoying. Oh well. <laughs> what the fuck is this guy? This is a fucking fey ruin, isn't it? Show me one fey that looks like that. That is the most disgusting creature I think I've ever seen in my life. Ah, oh, I hate you. And everything you stand for. Look <laughs> at that pointy fucking head. Okay, yeah. It's definitely a fey. If every single one of your facial features could be used to stab someone in the fucking jugular, then yes, that, that's what the fey look like. It's just that weird rounded nose and the weird old man jowls that no statue should ever, 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 ever have. <sighs> I am thoroughly disturbed. Let's get the hell out of here and... Is the, is the quest just straight up over? Yeah, it's over. Oh. Well, that sucks. We're sort of done with the entire area then. Maybe before we'll go to, we go to Issa and actually do the main mission, I can do a little bit more War Sworn? I want to do the War Sworn. And we can get to their area now, and I know there are quite a lot of side quests hanging out there. 
So it wouldn't be a bad idea. Then again, I'm also really, really excited to get more of those artifacts and finish some more of those Fey Ballads that aren't... Like, the obvious Fey Ballads, the ones you don't do in the actual House of Ballads quests. That would be delicious, but so would going to Arduath. Would it? What the fuck's in Arduath? Oh, yes, Arduath is for the travelers. We can definitely do that. Nothing else in the area. I think that leads to Issa? As far as I can tell, that leads to Issa, because nothing else really comes off of the side there. It's not high enough to go to the worlds. Yeah, man. We're nearly fucking done with the first area. Which sounds insane for an RPG that I've been playing for 48 hours now. Or somewhere close. By the end of this session, it will have been a full 48 hours, like, fucking playthrough so far. And I feel like we have barely scratched the surface. I don't know if it's, like, one of those deals of, like, you know, it's, it's a rushed RP- it, I know it's not rushed, but it's an RPG that completely blew the budgets out of the goddamn water and everything. So I don't know if it's a case of, like, um... Oh yeah, we put all the effort in the world into the first area, and then as each area goes on, there's just less and less and less and less and less and less content. I have no idea if that's the case, but I've definitely seen that happen with a lot of fucking games. I hope not this one, though, because this has made such an incredible impression in such a short amount of time, and you know what? The DLC is still arguably the best content in the game that we have played so far. So that really, really, really gives me hope for the rest of the game, because if they had budget enough to make that DLC, then they have budget enough to make an incredible, fully fucking rounded game. I can't believe this game doesn't get more praise. Literally every time I play it, I come away with an even more positive outlook on this game. And I don't know how that's possible, because I already think it's amazing. I don't even think it's a 10 out of 10, that's the weird thing. It's not like I'm absolutely addicted and in love with it. I just think it's really unique. And for, for an, a game around the times, like 2011, 2012, sort of the Skyrim era, or the post-Skyrim era, or sort of Skyrim just came out era anyway, fucking hell, it might be the best RPG of that era. And I'm including Skyrim in that. <laughs> this, this thing sort of shits on Skyrim in many areas. Maybe it's just because I haven't played Skyrim in a very long time that I think that, but who knows? Ooh. Eventually I'll go through Ooh, the Elder Scrolls on the channel. This is a sealed place, interloper, and you must leave before I spill your blood. It Who the fuck are you? Oh yeah, the you're the man with the shoes. And roars within me. I must hunt. I will hunt you, mortal, until you can run no more. You may have fucked that up already. You you just told me to leave. That cursed amateur! Why is my persuasion skill so terrible? I've got my cool hat on. No one can resist this cool hat. This cool hat shows up in the room. Everyone's fucking pets are already off. We have established this. Except this guy's. Oh no. Oh no, well maybe the pants are off, but the boots definitely aren't, and that is the issue here. How did you come to Arduath? This is a cell of my own choosing. I mean, we already it know this, but still. The hollow where I first awoke. It is my den. They are my grounds. The, the hollow where you first here, awoke. Where I Amateur isn't in control. But for the beasts that wander in. And you. I mean, I am pretty beastly, thank you for noticing. You're the Lord of the Hunt. I was, once. The court of summer held me to be the champion of chases. A master of stalking the woods of our realms. Yeah, they but really didn't set you up very well, did they? I have transcended. I am not the Lord of the Hunt. I am the Hunt. Is that something to brag about? I feel like, I feel like there are some things that can hunt way fucking better than you can. I have seen some horrible shit in my time on this world. The cursed amateur! I... I know. I had only wished to combat the waning of strength that the Summer Fey are experiencing. But then the magics began ensnaring my mind. It is too late for me. But you might... You might... Take this. May it help protect you from my hunger. For blood. Enough to Or you could take off your shoes. Into my den, little Please? Mortal. Your blood Please? shall be mine. What the fuck has possessed you? The hunter's friend. Okay, is this gonna make you less powerful and me more badass? It just buffs stealth, that's shit. An amulet blessed by the Lord of the Chase, a member of the Court of Summer. 
said to fortify even the greatest of hunters. Wait, so I'm not even in your lair right now? I'm like in the foyer? The reception? Can, can I- can I make a complaint to the fucking manager? Because this was not good service. This was not the welcome I expected. Not the welcome I deserve. Oh, this isn't a hunt. You thought stealthing was gonna help me here? In what possible fucking world? This is an all-out battle! Yes, I love it. Okay. Okay, this is actually fucking awesome. I didn't expect this. It's sort of Anakato style. In which, like, it's actually going in stages, except this time the battlefield changes no matter what the- well, it, as you go forth! I like- I like a lot. Come here, you. Don't you have- I better start taking this seriously. Yeah, I think so. Don't you have a bow? I think you just charged me down with a bow. The Lord of the Hunt doesn't even know what his only- his main and only fucking weapon is. Or does, or whatever the fuck. You, sir- I'm not a very smart man, and I'm about to prove that even further by killing you with one attack over and over and over and over and over and over and over. Oh my God, those are people. Those are people. At least they're not eaten, right? At least they're intact. But you did just sort of leave them here to rot. I don't think that's what a hunter is supposed to do. Oh, is this the final phase? No, it's just the phase where you decide to completely ignore me and not say shit. I guess you're actually getting scared this time around. But that, that wasn't a bow, I just realized. It is Fey Blades. So it kind of makes sense that you have to get close to me. But if you need to get close to me, then you're fucked. Because I'm the scariest mage of all time. Speak of the devil, let me go ahead and put my uh, endless nuke balls back on. There we go. Can't enter a fight without a decent helping of balls. Oh, I can't save, so this is probably going to kill me. Oh no! If I nearly beat him and... Oh, for fuck's sake. I'm coming back for you, because I don't trust that at all. Listen to this music go, man! For once, it's like a, a track that really, really fits the moment. I imagine they literally composed this track for this particular quest, because a lot of this time, as amazing as Grant Kirkhope is, oh! And incredible as this game. Ames, soundtrack. What do you mean the hunt is on? The hunt is fucking over. You ripped my head off. And what is with that weird ass high school spirit fucking fist bump? That was adorable. Go away. Oh man, yeah. I thought that was gonna go a lot better. I got really, really cocky there. I let him get close and I used the wrong attack by accident. But, uh. Oh, I thought I was gonna have to do the entire conversation again. Why don't we go deeper into my domain? It's pretty fucking good. I'm kind of absolutely loving the hunt, to be honest. Uh, I'll see you guys real soon because it's gonna take a big fucking journey and I'm gonna loot everything again and it's very painful. And here we go! Is he getting back up? Oh, he's dead. Oh! <laughs> I expected this to end up being an actual fucking showdown right at the end. As much as I love the staged combat and everything, I mean, that, 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 that was very lackluster. He's a badass, and I enjoyed everything about that fight up until his actual death, because he sort of just tripped over and stumbled and broke his fucking neck. But, sure. Whatever, I won't complain. He dead, and we get to be an even cooler fate fe uh, uh, thief this time around. All right, let's see if we can actually dispel it. Because every time I try and do it under pressure with incredibly badass fucking fantasy music playing, and it does not help. There we go. First try. Stuff of bloodthirst. Is it any good? It kind of sounds boring. Yeah, it's one of those health suckers or whatever the hell, and it doesn't even do nearly as much damage as the one we already have. Why? It should be so much higher level than that one, I guess. Where did I find the Precisions one? Because I don't even think I found that in Naros. I think I found that out in the Feylands, but just it's nowhere near as cool, and I don't know why. Buru's boots. Can I wear Buru's boots? No, because that would be the most overpowered thing in the entire fucking world. Okay, fair enough. And would probably ruin my entire existence, because they're fucking cursed. What do we got over here? Also, this was not a task fit for a thief. Why did you send a thief? Why not send the war sworn? Or someone who's actually supposed to fight like a fucking monster? Wait, were there two ways this way all along? I'm gonna sneeze. Eh. Uh, ah, uh, fuck. Ah! I can never seem to sneeze on video. 
I remember that used to happen like <laughs> all throughout the fucking summer and it just would never fucking come and it's the most unpleasant fucking feeling knowing you need to sneeze, almost fucking sneezing and then the absolute cucking that comes when you can't sneeze it's just, why? Why have you done this to me world? Why are you doing this to me human body? What did I do to you? Did I just leave nothing behind? Was it just a big fucking loop? Wow, what a boring area I guess it was supposed to be your permanent prison cell, but it's it's not even like it's like a murder maze or anything like I assumed you would add, being that you're the hunter and you like to play with your food and everything. It's just a big square. Okay, fine. Sure. Why not? No, no scarier fucking shape than a big square, I guess. What do we got over here? Nothing. We're done with the sheet. Which is a shame because I think the sheet was really, 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 really cool. Krilgarin? is not where I expected her to be. Krugarin is hanging out with the religious nuts for no fucking reason. Okay? I mean, she's definitely not down where she used to. She's not in Star Camp. She must be in Star Camp. The game must be fucking with me. Right? Or was it like, grab these shoes, then meet me somewhere? No, she's right here. The game is just an absolute asshole. The boots do not seem to have weathered the separation from their master well. Still there in hand as ordered. Oh no, that's just because I completely brutalized him, don't worry. It brings us power. There is a new task, but this one comes from me. Ooh, okay. Returned from a mission of his. I fear that he may have been captured. Oh, not Grim! I don't care about him, but you care about him, and I care about you a bit, because you've got a cool name. How can I help Grim? You must find Grim and return him to us. From what I've seen of your work, you have the best chance of anyone in camp. Grim is a close ally and a talented traveler. His safe return is your top priority. It would probably help if you had any details whatsoever. ever. It's just like, hey, save the guy. <laughs> we don't know where he is. We don't know why he's fucking gone. We don't know who took him, but whatever. What was his mission? The Hierophant ordained him to steal an ancient book called the Missives of Sable from a stronghold held by Jotun. It seemed a yeah. relatively easy to Bad use. idea? Jotun have no need of books after all. They are fiercely territorial, however. But he must seem like a mouse to them. Uh, I guess, to be fair, we leave mouse traps and, and kill fucking rodents and are terrified of them. But I can't really imagine a Jotun really having the same reaction to a tiny little man. I don't think it would be fear. It'd either be nonchalance like, oh yeah, sure, go ahead, take my books. Or it would be stomp his fucking face till it doesn't exist. Uh, I guess they chose the latter. Where can I find Grim? I don't care about Grim. Jesus, man. He was to go to own stand. He brought you into the in travels. The rain. I have no doubt that you will find him there. And you must hurry to him. Once crossed, his captors will not take long before they decide to deal with him. Is this an actual timed mission? There is something unnatural at work here. N no, it's not. It's it's just a Jotun. You said it yourself. Like, like they are deeply right. fucking territorial. And this is the fucking manifestation of that. They've killed him because he's an asshole. Jailbro- Who are Hello. you? You just exist. You're, you're so cool. I mean, I, I really, 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 really don't approve of that skin to like the grey elf, the dark elf or whatever, with bright fucking fiery ginger hair. In what possible fucking world did that happen? Let's not question that. I guess they invented hair dye early in this world. I mean, magic exists, whatever. <laughs> we'll assume that they could just magic away. Hmm. Magic away? Magic into existence. The force of ginger. I don't know why the hell anyone would choose to do that, but whatever. Where are you leading me? Does the other exit lead into Lorcarain? Oh, maybe it does, because I know I've never actually left through the other side. Because we don't have the, um, the opposite sort of teleporter. What do you want again? Oh yeah, you're the dude who wants keys. Which I have found out is a repeatable quest. Apparently keys just respawn and it'll pay you every single time. It's sort of like getting ing ingredients for Morduck or whatever the fuck his name was. What a shit quest. Why do they exist? They're just, they only serve to piss me off. Ugh. Oh, I should probably go sell everything again because we're already borderline full. I don't know how the hell this keeps happening, but it's the most mind-numbing thing in the world. So I will see you guys once the selling has been done, and then we'll be in Lorca Rain. So actually new things will happen, and I can be a happy boy. What do we got here? 
dog shit. Good. <laughs> <laughs>